welcome to day two. Today was leg day, so I woke up early and went to the gym, and I just got back, and now I'm going to go make myself some breakfast. Today is Thursday, and it is actually my busiest day um, out of the week. I go to the gym, then I have class, then I get lunch with some friends usually, and I also do all of my grocery shopping, try to squeeze a little bit of homework in, and then I have to work in the evening. So you guys will be able to see me running around all day. So let's go. Time to shower. Okay, I got all ready for the day and I'm gonna head off to my first grocery store. Okay guys, I'm just unloading my groceries into the fridge. I'll show you exactly what I got later once I go to the other store. And this is my lunch for today. I actually cooked it um, two days ago. It's just some lentil um, noodles with a bunch of different vegetables. I took a prettier photo, so I'll probably insert that now because it doesn't look as great anymore, but it still tastes good. So I'm going to take this with an orange for lunch. And then after lunch, I'm going straight to the grocery store and then I'll come back home. Got some chocolate snack balls and I'm heading off to class. So my friends actually dished me for lunch, but it's okay. I'm just gonna eat outside anyways and Who in their right mind would pay $8 for a watermelon? This is gigantic. Oh my god. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys what I got at both of the stores. I'll start with the one I went to this morning. I got a giant red pepper, three zucchini, or courgette, I believe. One apple. I got three oranges, but I ate one for lunch this morning. A head of garlic, some spinach, and a pineapple. Because I haven't had pineapple in forever. Then I went to the commercial grocery store and got more non-perishable food items. I did get two mangoes. And then this week I decided to get vanilla almond coconut milk. I put this mostly in my cereal and I've had it before, but it was a long time ago, but I remember being really good. I got some sourdough English muffins because why not? Got a jar of pickles because they're my new recent obsession. I forgot how much I loved them. And then finally, all of these things are related. So I got two bags of dried pinto beans, two cans of diced jalapenos, and then two cans of salsa. And these are all for a recipe for refried beans in your Instant Pot. It's actually from High Carb Hannah and her boyfriend Derek, or Unconventional Living. It's from their Instant Pot ebook. And I tried it last week, and it was so good. Like, I never thought I would say that I'd want to funnel beans into my mouth, but like, I don't know, man. It was addictive. So yeah, I'm going to be making some beans. I bought a lot of groceries last week, so I didn't really need to get very much this week. And as you can see, I still like stocked up on some items. But total, I spent $9.87 at the first store, and this was $21.41. So I'll put the grand total right here. And yeah, that's my grocery shopping for the week. Okay, I'm about to have the weirdest snack ever, but I just got really excited about my groceries. So I have a toasted English muffin with some cherry jam and some cinnamon, and then I have two little cut up pickles. And I'm gonna eat that while I cook my dinner for tonight. I mentioned earlier that I have to work. I am a waitress at a restaurant on my campus, and I have to be at work at five, so I always pack my dinner with me as well as some snacks, and I'll be sure to show you guys that before I go. But other than that, I'll probably just be working on homework and hopefully get around to editing a video before then. And now it's time for Caitlin's Lazy Dinner 101. This is my basic meal that I always go to whenever I don't really have that much time to cook. I have rice, 
frozen peas and corn, and then some type of bean. Today it is pinto beans, and I mixed it with some jalapeno relish. And then I just always put that on top of some fresh spinach and top it with some sriracha and some nutritional yeast. This was for an Instagram photo, but in reality, the nutritional yeast is probably eh, more like that. And it also doesn't look like this because I'm taking it with me to work. It's just going to go right in this container here. I'm going to spill it all over my bed, but yeah, you get the point. Okay, I have my dinner, a blood orange, an umbrella because it might rain, and I'm just putting them in my work bag. And I have other assorted snacks here for emergencies, like a cliff bar, some dried figs, little bean snacks, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm heading off to work now. I'm obviously not going to be able to talk to you guys during work, but I will check in with you after. I'm ready to go to bed. I have class at 8 a.m. tomorrow, but it's okay. I'll catch up on my sleep tomorrow night because I don't have to work for the rest of the weekend, which is good. And yeah, probably just gonna make myself a bowl of cereal as a quick night snack because I'm starving, and that's it. Also, fun fact, I've walked almost 11 miles today. Probably be 11 by the time I get home.